This presentation introduces the FOSTIN study evaluating the feasibility and tolerance of a 3D image-guided transrectal focal microwave treatment of the index tumor in the prostate. This study is conducted in Hôpital Cochin in Paris. Focal therapies are currently under investigation to propose a treatment solution for localized prostate cancer in selected patients. This work evaluates a targeted microwave approach guided with a 3D cartography system with MRI ultrasound registration capabilities. Microwave driven through a needle, also called applicator, induce a coagulation necrosis in the tissues. Preliminary ex vivo and in vivo studies showed an excellent predictability and repeatability of the technique and allowed to build predictive abacus on pork at 37 degrees Celsius. The study primary endpoint is the precision of the microwave image guided ablation evaluated on the postoperative MRI at 7 days and on the MRI and associated MRI ultrasound targeted biopsies at 6 months. 10 patients will be included in the study. The material consists in a 3D cartography platform, Coelis Trinity, allowing to record the biopsy results and MRI target locations and to recall them for further biopsies or treatment. A microwave generator and an 18 gauge 25 cm applicator are used to treat the targeted areas. The treatment is performed in the operating room in general anesthesia through the transrectal approach. Parameters of the treatment are power and time. The treatment time can vary from 2 to 3 minutes depending on the desired ablation dimensions. One of the three first cases is shown here. The patient was included with a PSA of 8.1, MRI target size of 9 mm in the middle left peripheral zone of the prostate. Targeted biopsies showed a 7 mm tumor with a Gleason score of 3 plus 3. This video resumes the workflow on the Trinity system during the intervention. After import of an MRI, MRI contour is made and the lesion can be identified. A 3D ultrasound volume is then acquired with a 3D transrectal end fire probe and can be delineated on the software. An elastic MRI ultrasound fusion is then automatically performed, which allows to see the position of the targets in a 3D model. The targeting phase is made through 3D acquisitions and automatic prostate recognition to locate the needle in the 3D model. Measurements are made to choose the treatment parameters and to ensure that the predicted ablation is covering the target without arming other organs. The treatment is then started, 2 minutes in this case, and can be partially monitored on the live ultrasound. A final 3D acquisition allows to make sure that the instrument has not moved during the treatment. The software allows to delineate the target on the preoperative MRI and the devascularized area on the postoperative T1 dynamic contrast enhanced images. An elastic fusion of both datasets can then be performed to visualize in three dimensions the overlap of the ablation on the target. In case the overlap is not perfect, a segmentation of the uncovered area can be made to quantify the treatment quality. Preliminary results on the first three patients are described in this table. The MRI target was treated in full for two of the three patients. Quality of life was fully maintained for all patients. The position and dimensions of the ablation observed on the postoperative MRI were well correlated with the predictions. In conclusion, the first interventions demonstrated the technical feasibility of microwave image-guided targeted therapy of prostate cancer with a great accuracy. Further interventions and follow-up will allow to confirm this feasibility and will evaluate the oncological efficacy of this approach. Larger patient scores will also be involved in the next studies.